Puerto Rico, a collaborative agreement will train the police officers so they can identify people with autism. This effort will help raise awareness of those who have autism and need to be given the necessary attention. Our Francis Felix reports. With the aim of raising awareness about autism throughout Puerto Rico, the police department are working in a project that will help to identify and care with empathy for the autism community. The police commissioner, Antonio Lopez Figueroa, in coordination with the Secretary of Public Security, ordered more than a dozen vehicles attached to the High Patrol Division to dedicate to this issue. Sixteen patrols will circulate around the island, label and will identify the cause of autism to carry a message of solidarity by the police officers. We have worked and we have provided training to the uh, four operational bureaus within the Department of Public Safety in regards to how to respond when we encounter any person that is in the spectrum of autism. We have done it in virtually, uh, some training, uh, and we are going to continue to do some uh, impressions uh, in the future. We all have a family uh, member uh, or a neighbor that is included with this in, within this community, so it is our responsibility to uh, uh, get the proper training so we can react uh, in time and properly. Our plan is to train all the police officers, the firefighters, uh, the PREMB people, and also the paramedics. So all four bureaus are going to be trained for this, uh, uh, to react to this situation if they encounter any. The director of autism explained the importance in providing attention to this community with this project and urged for more action. There is a project Senate uh, 840 which modifies the law of public security to command uh, the first responders to be trained in how to intervene and handle people with autism. We went to the Senate and, and uh, asked them to include professional training by professionals. It's very important that uh, they take a specific uh, training for law enforcement because it's not the same as in the school, as in every other place. It's a specific training that they have to take so they can deal with crisis. We have a huge issue with adults with autism in Puerto Rico. They, when they uh, finish uh, school, they go to homes, and they, to their homes, and they don't have any, anything, any attention, anything to have them preserve their, what the skills they acquired. Uh, there is no help for those that can help go to the uni to co college or university. Uh, at the, like no assistance for them to, to, to go through that process. And after they graduate, they don't have. Uh, the proper supports to be included in the workforce. So there is, uh, I, I, it's like they go from having the, all the supports into having nothing. Mm -hmm. And they are going into, the, they're staying at homes, depressed, anxious, obsessive, and uh, parents that need to be at home 24 seven. So it's a really, really hard time. And, it's that, and that is what happens for the next 40 years. In Puerto Rico, there's no statistics of how many people have autism. The last ones are from 2011, where one of 62 people had autism. From Cupay, Puerto Rico, Frances Félix.